There are a number of very useful shortcuts in Live 10. I've talked about them in previous videos, many of them at least, but I'd like to uh, go over some of them right now. First of all, A uh, shows and hides the automation. This is one of my very favorite ones, and it really is very good for a workflow. Another one is M, and that just turns on and off the MIDI key input from your key computer keyboard. So if you want to play notes from your computer keyboard, you hit M and you have the icon lit up. Hit it again, it goes out. Another keyboard shortcut which is very useful is R to reverse. So I can just select a clip and I can reverse that part. To zoom horizontally, push down Command and use the scroll wheel on your mouse or two fingers on your trackpad. To zoom vertically, same thing, but push down Option or Alt. Another one is deactivate clip or a selection of the clip. Used to be you had to have to do this for the whole clip, but now I can just do a selection and hit zero and that's deactivated. Hitting zero again will reactivate that. When your insert markers in the arrangement view here, I can hit minus to zoom out and plus to zoom in. Of course, we can use that to go all the way into the sample level to the sample dots. Another nice one, if you want to collapse all your tracks, for example here, uh, I really don't see the whole set at all. If I just hit S, all the tracks are collapsed and I can see everything right there on my monitor. For collections, you can change colors in your assignments, in your tagging of your various devices or samples, whatever you're tagging. Um, if I right click, I can see the numbers here and the colors and the names that I've named. Um, but you can clear them all with a zero and I can add different ones with my uh, number keys here as well. You can find more shortcuts in the live manual. I highly suggest going through that part of the manual. You can find that in the help menu here and in the last chapter, chapter 34, you have all the hardwired Shortcuts in Live, very useful for both Windows and Mac. Again, I'd suggest going through those and maybe learning a couple every week or so to accelerate your workflow.